Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I will show you how to configure the Orbit MCR to operate as a UDP multipoint terminal server. I'll first begin with some general information about the UDP multicast protocol and the steps required to configure this mode in the Orbit MCR. Then I'll dive right into the web and CLI configuration. When that's complete, I'll verify functionality and set up a Modbus polar to pass some data. Before setting up UDP multipoint mode, I want to briefly cover what this entails. UDP multipoint mode utilizes sending IP packets using multicast IP addresses. This subnet is a one-to-many or many-to-many -many distribution. This means that devices configured for multipoint mode can send data to multiple hosts by only sending the IP packet once. The Orbit MCR has the following UDP terminal server modes, point-to-point, point-to-multipoint, multipoint-to-point, and multipoint-to-multipoint. The most basic UDP terminal server mode is point-to-point, -point, which does not utilize the multicast subnet. If you want more information about this mode, there is a dedicated training video for UDP point-to-point. -point. This video will cover how modes 2 through 4 operate. When configuring the multicast IP address, you must configure an address in the following IP range displayed here. Before we jump into configuring the orbit, here's the list of steps we'll have to take. When a unit gets configured to use UDP multipoint mode, it's going to start sending packets using the multicast subnet as we discussed on the previous diagram. Where those packets get sent all depends on the orbit's routing table. If you have a default gateway set up, then those multicast packets will be sent out the orbit interface associated with that default gateway. That may work for your system if what you're trying to communicate with is connected off that orbit interface. If it's not, then this is where step one comes into play. You'll have to create a static route and define how the orbit routes multicast packets. Then go into services and configure the serial port of your choosing for UDP terminal server mode. This is where we'll configure which UDP mode to use, the multicast address along with the local and remote listening ports and remote address. Commit or save the configuration when finished, your device will immediately be put into terminal server mode. Now you can configure your pullers and begin pulling your system. If you require console access to your serial port, disable the terminal server mode via the web GUI or connect to the console and press the plus sign three times in half second intervals. Now, let's begin the configuration. Starting at the web GUI, log in as the administrator and on the left hand side, click on routing. This is the orbit's routing table. Every time the orbit goes to send an IP packet, it uses this table to determine where to send it and out of what interface the packet exits. In my system, there is no route to specifically cover the multicast subnet. My default gateway would take over and send everything out the cell. Since my other units are not connected to my cell interface, this is not going to work for me. I'll have to create a static route to specifically tell the orbit how to handle the multicast subnet. To do this, click on Basic Config, then Static Routes, then click Add under IPv4. Assign the static route a number and click Add. This page is where we'll define the subnet to route and what interface to send it out. To cover the entire multicast subnet, enter this destination prefix. Then select the orbit interface those packets will exit. Click Finish and then save the configuration. Refresh the routing page and verify that the new static route is added to the Orbit's routing table. Now all my multicast traffic will be sent out the bridge interface. Here is the setup that I will be demonstrating today. Using Orbit MCR 900s, I have an access point with two connected remotes. Each Orbit remote has a Modbus RTU device off its COM1 serial port. For terminal servers, the access point will be configured for UDP point to multipoint and the remotes will be UDP multipoint to point. This means that when the access point gets data on its serial port from the Modbus master, it'll create a UDP packet and send it out to the multicast address. As shown before, a static route was configured to direct how a multicast high-B packet leaves the orbit. The packet will reach both my orbit remotes because they will be configured in multipoint mode. Depending on the slave ID that the Modbus master requests, only one of the RTUs will respond. Once the RTU responds, serial data will now be present on the orbit remote COM1 port, where it'll create a new UDP packet and send it to the point device configured in the terminal server. 
This point device will be the access point. Now that we have a plan, let's configure the system. To configure the access point as point to multipoint, log in as admin and click services, then click serial. Click basic config, then terminal server, and then click add. Select your COM port, click OK, and then click add. Click choices, and then select UDP. Check UDP, and then change the mode to point to multipoint. Enter your local listening port and check the multicast button. Then enter your multicast IP address and port. Save the configuration when finished. To configure the remotes as multipoint to point mode, log in as admin and click services. Then click Serial. Click Basic Config, then Terminal Server, and then Add. Select your COM port, click OK, and then click Add. Click Choices, and then select UDP. Change UDP mode to Multipoint to Point. Then enter your point unit's IP address and listening port. Check off Multicast, then enter your Multicast IP address and listening port. Save the configuration when finished. To configure this on the console, enter configuration mode by typing configure. Then type the following set command and modify it to best fit your system. Press tab anytime to prompt the CLI for input command help. Commit the configuration when complete. Now that the configuration is applied, let's test our setup. On the left is the AP, and on the right are my two remotes. As I type into my AP serial port, the data is sent to both my remote units. This is the multicast packet. When I type in a multi-point unit, notice that the data is only sent to the point unit. Likewise, the second multi-point unit only sends to the point unit. Now that we've proven functionality, I want to get some real data flowing. Using MDBus, which is a Modbus protocol polling tool, I have the master and two serial slave RTU devices. The master puller will be requesting analog and digital registers from each RTU. Each RTU has a different slave ID, so it will only respond back with the data when the message is sent for that unit. As I start the master, notice how it cycles through the two different slave IDs. Because the orbits are in multipoint mode, each RTU receives all messages, but only responds back when it's their slave ID. UDP multipoint mode ultimately allows serial to serial polling over an entire system using one multicast IP address. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, please visit our website at www.gemds.com.